quarter. Lopez in a tight formation. Hands off to Rogers off the right side. Big hole and lots of room. He hit at the eight yard line. That's Costilla. Who is that counter, I believe, number 33. Actually, Jeremy Jackson to make the stop, but not before he has the first down. And it's back inside Gordon's territory to the eight yard line. Longhorns are going to find themselves with a pretty big deficit if they don't do something quickly. Lopez with Rogers in the backfield, pitches it back to Rogers. Rogers around the left side, has a hole, makes a move. He's at the five and stops at the two yard line as he's smothered by Cosia. And that may be Brother Joe. No, that's Brian Barber, I believe, number 21 for the Longhorns, who helps Cosia keep him out of the end zone. But uh, Rogers inches ever closer is now in second and goal, and they actually mark him at what looks to be the two and a half yard line. Hey, Land, uh, problem for the Gordon Longhorns. Chris Chamberlain, the end for the Longhorns, 175 pound junior. He is injured. Now on the sideline, he's out of the game right now. That may very well be why Barber's in there. There's a handoff up the middle to Rogers. Touchdown. Touchdown. Win Harrell and flag fly all over the place. Boy. Not looking good right now for Gordon as Rogers is on to attempt the extra point. Uh, Top Arena is offside. Let's see if he makes the kick. He does make the kick. It's, so it's going to be academic that Top Arena was offside, so he declined the penalty. But my goodness, things are falling apart, at least in the short term, for the Gordon Longhorns. Chamberlain is off with an injury. It is an onside kick. Longhorns. It may have been recovered by Windhill at the 20 yard line. Let's see if it went 15 yards. If it did, the Longhorns are going to get the ball back, and it may not have gone 15 yards. I don't think it did. Wow, that is. Away. And it is going to be a first and 15 for the Longhorns, and I would venture to say that's almost disaster. Oh, it'd be disaster. Justin Sullivan picked up the football, and he kept on running. Of course, he, he couldn't afford, he couldn't advance the offside court, but it's all that would have been devastating for Right now, they're in a hole as it is, down by 20 points. Here's a good back to Steinford. He's looking for someone to throw the ball for you. Now throws it back across the field to Cosia, who makes the move down to 25. That has to with the 30. And it was a good move by Jim Cosia that made anything happen on that play. He had a defender right in that face. He had a constant line. That's the, the athletic ability we've seen all season long from Jim Cosia. They've got to get the ball in his hands a bit more often, at least on the receiving end. Pick up of about eight or nine yards. They're going to mark it at the 31 yard line. It's going to bring up, let's call it a second and seven after a pickup of eight yards. And again, from the spread formation, Cosi and Sizemore in an eye formation. Back to Sizemore. He wants to throw the ball. He's in trouble. There's a face mask, and we got flags all over the place. Sizemore is tackled at the 10 yard line. Fortunately for Gordon. One of the Whit Harrell Panthers grabbed his face mask. He went down. So there's the indication on the face mask. I tell you, that couldn't come at a better time because uh, Sizemore was in trouble back on the 15 yard line. You know, but that was just a you know, blatant face mask. Looks like he's going to rip his hand right off of his back. And that's dangerous. That's extremely dangerous on a football field. And there's really no reason for that. Whit Harrell is going to pay for that right now. He's had a couple of Panthers were on top of him in the 15. But more importantly, the Longhorns have the ball first and 15 from Whit Harrell territory at the 15. Here's a reverse around the right side to Sizemore. He has the ball at the 30, makes a move. He's at the 20 and knocked out of bounds at the 17 yard line. And now we have the flag on Whit Harrell as Sizemore gets out of bounds at the 12 yard line. So if the Gordon Longhorns needed anything, they needed a momentum shift. And who better to give it to them than their go-to man all season long, Jason Sizemore. There's the indication of personal foul. That occurred after the play was completed. So let's see how they tack this one off. The line of scrimmage after the play was at the 13-yard line. So they should take it half the distance at this point. We have a timeout from the Panther point. We are really at a turning point in this ball game. Really at a turning point. And uh, the Longhorns find themselves down by three touchdowns by 20 points. But with the opportunity here, the first and goal to go at the eight yard line, you have to believe they need to get in here. Cosia in a tight formation, hands off to John Levin, who hit at the seven yard line, still on his feet, still going his way. He's inside the five. 
took a couple of Panthers to bring him down. He was hit hard at the eight yard line by two Panthers, and he bounced off that, tried to make a move back inside, and actually ended up picking two yards. Second and goal to go from just inside the five. Ball is nosing over the five yard line. Clock is running. Six and a half minutes to go. Jordan certainly needs six points here. Tight formation. Top arena and side four in the backfield. There's a handoff for side four. No, it's top arena around the left side. As he picks up a couple of maybe to go down to the three yard line. Let's see where they spot the ball. That is where it is. Is where it is, I guess you can say that. <laughs> it came out in any case. Uh, at the three yard line, it's going to bring up third and goal as the fake with the side four off the right side. I think he had a touchdown. Top Arena came around from the left side and was tackled fairly quickly. Here we go. Costia hands off the left. He's off the left side. He's into the end zone. Yeah, the 
Jackson back on the coverage, and I believe he was pushed on. Chamberlain was off the field again. Uh, looks like he may still be limping a bit. Now we've got Thacker quarterback in the Jackson backfield. Oh, he's got Thacker in the 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 backfield. Oh,